Hello everybody, Autistic Genius here. Thank you all again for just another great few days on the page. Yesterday I did the video about you know who. I won't say her anymore because as far as I'm concerned the issue is done and dealt with. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Kevin Healy for the support on that. Um, really, really thankful for that and really great that he liked it. So thanks Kevin Healy, you're a real top bloke. If you don't know who he is, he's a, an autism advocate and campaigner. Fantastic. And he's on the board of directors for the National Autistic Society, so he's a bit of a good guy. Carrying on the week as planned, welcome to Wednesday's video. Today we are still talking sensory diet, and today we're looking at the school aid sensory diet. So we looked at what we've done Monday, and how we, and it's moving on from there. The proprioception, remember proprioception is the stimulation of the joints, as in the p pushing them together and apart from each other. That's the, that's the stimulation we get from proprioception, that's the sense. That's the sense we get from proprioception. Uh, one of the ones is jump. Um, getting your kids as they get older to do a lot more jumping, encouragement jumping. For example, get a trampoline, get them on a mini trampoline. If you've got loads of children, big trampoline, just one, a little trampoline. Get them jumping on one. And also things like hopscotches. Then maybe they can try skipping rope. You could have you and your, the mum and the dad can hold it and spin it around, you and somebody else, and then the kid can try and jump over it. Really cool, really good. And you can jump in. Kids will jump all the time. Look at me, I'm a bunny rat. Let's be rabbits. Doing, 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 doing. Let's be kangaroos. Boing, boing. Let's be lemurs and jump around. I don't know what. Push and pull in. I love some of these because it just sounds like if it was me, I'd be like, no. Maybe there's pocket money as an incentive for this. Have them vacuum. Like get them to Hoover, use the Hoover. If it's not too heavy, get them to use the Hoover. Uh, maybe they can carry books from one room to another. So if you've got books that you want moving, have a book. Here you go, take that to there for mummy or daddy. And maybe you'll get some pocket money or a sweetie or a sticker for your child. How you play it in your house? Help wash the windows. Kids love stuff like that. Even the car, wash the windows, wash the car. And if it was sponges and water, just get them to do it because it's so it's just brilliant fun. And maybe even. Wipe a tabletop, so if there's a tabletop, wipe the table for me. Most kids will do it, to be fair, they're really good, especially where I work. If I see a kid you want to wipe the table, they go, yeah, I want to wipe the table, I want to wipe the table, let me wipe the table. It's exciting for them, it makes them feel, gives them a bit of independence, a bit of self-worth, makes them feel, yeah, I did something cool, it's an achievement. To them, it's a self, it just feels like self-achievement, like when you're bored at home, you're miserable, and you will clean, and you go, ah, oh, I've done something today, I've done something. That's exactly what kids feel, they go, they go to school, they don't get, they don't feel that achievement on a daily basis from doing work at school as adults will, they'll go, oh, I've done loads today, I feel good. They don't get that, so when they do something like what the table, it's, it gives them a bit of self-confidence, so they, they've done something well. Maybe if you have a, a washing machine and a dryer separate, get them to transfer the wet laundry to the dryer. If you haven't got any of those things, and you've well, got a washing machine, maybe ask them, maybe they'll pass the, wash, the wet washing to you while you hang it up, when you do it outside. So just stuff like that. It's, the reason why they say wet laundry is because wet laundry is slightly heavier than dry laundry, obviously. So it's just good for the proprioception. It stimulates the proprioceptive parts of the body. Next, vestibular. As remembered, any form of movement stimulates the vestibular. Get upside down, go upside down, do what you want. Hang upside down from playground equipment. All kids love to do stuff like hang upside down. I mean, just grab their legs and do it. If they don't want to, just if they're lying on the floor at any point, you can see them lying on the floor laughing. So that's it. Grab their legs, lift them up. See how they do. Some kids hate it, some kids love it. But you know, it varies. Some assaults if they've got a big trampoline or they've whatever. But obviously, if there's no trampoline, bouncy castle or anything padded, don't really encourage them to do it because I don't want any, I don't want autistic genius being responsible for broken necks and backs. I know this is something that we all have in our back garden. Um, so maybe they could ride a loop de loop roller coaster. Yeah, just buy one, stick it in the garden and ride it. Obviously, you can't buy one. But you can, um, if they go to the theme park or a fairground, there's something that goes around them. So now, see if they'll go on it. If they don't, don't make them, obviously. Don't make them do things they're not they 100% comfortable with. But if you see it and they want to go on it, it's encouragement. It's a good, stimulating experience for them. Swing and roll. Use playground swings. We've talked about swings in all directions. Roll down grassy and snowy hills now. Depending on what country you live in, you may only get the choice of snowy, or you may have just snowy or just grass. But either way, in this country, on a, on, on a rare occasion, we, have, we get to experience grass and snowy hills. So if there's a grassy hill, roll down it. Snowy hill, let them roll down it. Multi-sensory experience. It stimulates festivity with the balance and spatial awareness because your head's spinning and it's a fun experience. And also with the grass and the snow, it's a different sensory experience added to that. So it creates a new experience for someone on the spectrum. It's really good. Spinning round, encourage them to go on fairground rides with ones that spin like waltzers or carousels and all that kind of cool stuff. And also still use the office chair or sit and spin toys if they're not comfortable. Just keep using it. It's, it's consistency. It's good for them. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's all part of the fun, isn't it, bruv? Sick. Tactile. 
Food and drink. Provide frozen food like ice lollies. Ice lollies. Everybody, everybody loves an ice lolly. Everybody loves an ice lolly. Mini milks. My childhood. Frozen fruits. Get a bit of fruit. Freeze it. Like strawberries, berries, little things. They can put stock on it and do what they want with it. Eat it. Whatever. Re actually, I might buy some strawberries and do that. It sounds actually incredible. And you can freeze vegetables. But you can try freezing vegetables if they'll eat them, but it might be good for them, they might enjoy it. It might be another way to get them to try it as well. It's a new thing. It's like, oh, this is different. It's exciting. It's a game. Food that has mixed temperatures, what they say is, like, for example, for example, take a hot taco, you put a cold top in, like, sour cream on it, or the other way around, like, you get some ice cream for hot for Sunday. Mm. So just mixed temperature food, food that has hot and cold things in it to mix together, and it infuse. it's just a new sensory experience and infusion. And it's good because if they, like multiple temperatures at the same time they prefer that they might eat like peas like they don't like peas when they're warm because they're mushier maybe they might eat peas when they're a bit or a bit harder so they might eat peas slightly cooler and vegetables slightly cooler because it's crunchy and it's like and they might like that because they're hyposensitive or if they're hypersensitive they might like it mushier because it's like straight mm, don't want to can't be asked to deal with it experiment this is where you can experiment and get them to try new things not for the sake of trying new things but also just because it's a fun game for them and they're going to get a lot out of it even if they don't like the food they're still going to get something out of it like nature getting outside walk barefoot in the grass oh yeah it feels great doesn't it in the garden but make sure you avoid p areas that have had anti-pesticide -pest things applied so you don't want to get rest uh, infections or from the pesticides and stuff barefoot on sand and dirt also encourage them maybe to help you do the gardening and repot plants because they're learning about nature, it's a sense of experience, they're seeing, they're feeling, it's, it's cool, it's all good, Matt, it's all brilliant, 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 brilliant stuff, just simple things that everyone does on a daily basis, you wouldn't think of, but these, these children on the spectrum, or children in general, will get a lot out of it, finally dressing up, before we're dressing up, try to feel the different materials, now it's moving on to things like, maybe if it's a girl they can use makeup, if they don't like makeup, face paints, try and do costumes of course then maybe from these things they can develop a little play to show you the mum and dad or the brothers and sisters and maybe make a video so that it gives them a bit like if I put this on I can make a video and it's exciting and, it, and it's like encouragement to do something they wouldn't normally do and if they can do that as they get older they'll realise if I can do this now to, because I do it with this I could do it because of this or because of that and because of that blah, 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 blah. and they hopefully start transferring these skills as they get older and older and older and older and older awesome source thank you so much for watching I'm Autistic Genius please buy these t-shirts just checked there's only 10 left maybe different when this video is uploaded but there's only 10 left now huge thank you to everyone for the support keep watching keep subscribing keep liking keep sharing page is obviously a wonderful place don't forget Autism Central great potential for an amazing autism community that we're hoping to create thanks everyone and bye